These are the adjustable crimps and crimping tool that we now produce. Over the years many many anglers have used crimps to make traces but the damage that a crimp does to the line if it's incorrectly um, tensioned is sort of unseen and unknown. When we went to America where we caught big fish that were actually pulling down onto the crimp the crimp was actually cutting 60-70 pound and trace line and that brought home to me the importance of having a silicon rubber lining in the crimp. It's also handy for when you are adjusting the length of the crimp. If you change your hook on a ready-made rig nothing then fits but with the adjustable crimp you can then pull it down make sure everything fits and it's, you don't have to throw the trace away. Right. This is what we get. We get 20 pieces of rubber, 20 crimps and the crimping tool. The pieces of rubber are hollow one end and solid the other end. So the solid part easily pushes into the crimp. You can see what you're doing. Get hold of the rubber, pull it into the crimp. When we cut this off, You'll then find through the center of the crimp it is hollow. So this allows you to put on your trace line where you want. And when you're building up a trace, you cut off a few of these, you put them on your line, you put your swivel, and then another crimp, or you can put a bead, a swivel crimp. You push them all the way down your line, so you may be doing three different links on a trace. When you've got all your hooks on, you can then crimp them in the correct position. Now unlike an ordinary crimping tool, this one crimps lengthways. So you put it into the tool, press the handle, and that's crimp. You can do smaller crimps with this, but it's mainly made for this one. You can see that the lengthways crimp and this is tight onto the line. Sometimes it's more important to get the bottom crimp tighter than the top crimp because if this slides down under pressure it's easy to push back because your top crimp will always stay in position. So all you do is push it back to the top crimp. So you've got your swivel in here and as simple as that. This doesn't damage the line and even under pressure it still won't damage the line and it's still movable. It's possible to lock them by really really tightening them, really giving them a hard crimp and sometimes you can actually just instead of putting it in you can just squash it completely if you wanted to but it's not advised. It's far better to use it as a tool as it's intended. So we're going to put the crimp in the groove and then we're going to crimp it down. All this is nylon, um, you can leave it in your tackle box, it doesn't rust, doesn't corrode and it will last for donkey's years.